Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, here with me today is the CCM JetSpeed FT4 Pro. Going to be doing a really quick performance review of this stick. Um, so I've been using this stick for some time now, since uh, since September. Um, got in about uh, 15 to 16 league games, um, about 10 uh, pickup games, and a few more stick and puck uh, skates as well too, just messing around with this stick as well. I'm uh, just going to be giving a, a review on um, um, how this stick, uh, how I find this uh, stick to perform. Um, I've always gravitated towards uh, sticks that have the uh, the mid kick or I guess high kick label. Um, just as an example, I've <clears throat> used all like the Bauer Supremes uh, from the original Total One to the NXG uh, 1S, 2S Pro, Supreme ADV, and Ultrasonic. Uh, from Bauer's Nexus line, I've used the 8000, 2N Pro, 1N, and the Geo. And now more recently, I've been using the Bauer Sling as well too, which is also a mid-kick stick. Uh, from Warrior, there's the AX1 ST HD1. And from uh, CCM, the JetSpeed FT3 Pro as well. Um, although Je uh, CCM's uh, JetSpeed Kickpoint is formally called a mid-hybrid Kickpoint, um, it is similar to the, uh, the mid-kicks uh, from other sticks in that uh, they offer versatility um, in any situation. So just comparing uh, this Jet, Jet Speed FT4 Pro against all these sticks, I would have to honestly say that this uh, Jet Speed FT4 Pro is in my top three um, of all time, along with the uh, the Bauer Sling and the Nexus Geo. Um, I absolutely love this FT4 Pro. Um, in my opinion, I think the the weight of this stick is absolutely perfect. Um, it is super light. Um, but it is extremely well balanced, so it doesn't make it feel too light. Um, so I find sticks like the Trigger 5 Pro um, a little too light. And I uh, find that I can't really stick handle with uh, sticks that are too too light because I find my hands are just all over the place. Uh, but this FT4 Pro um, has the perfect weight for me, I find. The listed weight is 375 grams of this, uh, but I can't tell for certain as I don't have a scale, obviously. Um, now, from a shooting standpoint, uh, this stick is an absolute monster. Um, doesn't matter what type of shot that, that uh, you take. I find that the puck launches off the blade um, with a lot of authority. And uh, just to me, I find that the, the quick snappers um, really come off the most crisp, I find, with this stick. But, you know, really every shot comes off like a, like a missile with this stick as well. Uh, moving on to the puck feel. Uh, puck feel is, is pretty good uh, with this stick for me. Personally, I'd say it's uh, not as good as the puck feel uh, from the Bauer sticks, um, but um, the stick is a 9 out of 10 easy uh, with this stick. So I think the RR90 blade in this Jet Speed FT4 Pro I find has a much more responsive puck feel off the blade than the JF90 blade found in its predecessor, the FT3 Pro. Um, when stick handling... Um, with my head up, I found that uh, I always know where the puck is uh, on my blade and, uh, you know, I don't really have to glance down too much uh, to see where the puck is and, um, you know, find that the, the, the response off the blade is, uh, is pretty, pretty good off of this stick. Uh, durability wise, uh, this has held up pretty nicely so far. Um, I play both wing and center, so I've taken a lot of hacks in the face-off circles as well as in the corners in front of the net as well. Uh, so far, some cosmetic blemishes only, um, little paint chips. Don't know if you can see that on the camera, but really it's just uh, just the cosmetics. You can see some paint uh, rubbing off of the other player sticks on on uh, on this stick here, but it's really just cosmetic chain, um, blemishes right now. Um, no noticeable structural damage as well, too. Um, at all, not that I notice anyway. Um, and also, this still stick feels like uh, it still feels like when it was new. So um, obviously, like the the stick pop life is definitely there as well too. Um, overall, I think uh, if you like mid kick style sticks, I think uh, you may like this FT4 Pro. Um, for me, I absolutely love this stick. I always find myself gravitating towards it uh, <clears throat> these days. And um, the price tag on this is like uh, any other top models nowadays. It is very hefty right now, but uh, CCM usually comes out with new models every year. Uh, so there will likely be a price drop on this thing in the summer of 2022, if I have my timing correctly on this. 
Um, however, given how popular this stick is, there may not be um, the proper selection on the desired flexor curves at that time. So um, if you're looking and, and thinking about the JetSpeed FT4 Pro, I highly recommend it. Um, this stick is an absolute beast. Um, one of my favorites of all time. And also the, uh, the graphics of this is actually my favorite graphic of all time that I've ever used uh, personally um, out of all the sticks that I've used. Really love the, uh, the dark on the forehand side, um, the red chrome that kind of goes up, the underbelly stripe that sort of wraps up around um, towards the, uh, the front side of the stick. And then you got the, the red chrome hits here on the back. Uh, really, really, really like these graphics. I think, uh, I think um, these graphics are definitely, as I said, uh, my favorite of all time. Um, the flex and curve again is a P8870 flex, as you can see on here. And I elected to get my name on the uh, name bar printer. Um, but that's it guys, I uh, hope this video uh, sheds a little bit more light into the FT4 Pro if you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it, really love this stick. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video give me a thumbs up, see you next time.